Cool, I'm going to leave now. Goodbye, guys. Okay, thank you, Bye. Ryan. Bye, Ryan. Gonna miss that guy. I might miss him. You might, you're not sure yet. Well, it's not been long enough. Yeah, uh, like give not, it some time. Yeah, we'll see. Let, let the miss happen. Sometimes time heals wounds and, and makes you forget about people. That's, that's true. Mm -hmm. I've already forgotten about that guy. Mm -hmm. I don't even know who we're talking about anymore. No, what are we doing here? Today, we're doing another Topic Town. Topic Town? We are. What are we talking about today? We're going to talk about the Brontosaurus, right? Yeah, we're going to talk about Brontosaurus and how he's real. He's real now? He's real. I've been so, I'm so confused. Yeah. All right, well, let's, why don't you uh, take a moment mm -hmm. while we do the intro. Okay. How are you feeling now? I feel pretty good. You know, growing up in school, Matt, mm -hmm. I thought the Brontosaurus was real. School taught me that the Brontosaurus was real. Yeah, I mean, that's, you're not alone. And I learned in my adulthood that scientists have... You know, they concluded that the Brontosaurus wasn't actually a real dinosaur, but I don't really know the details. But I did know that I the, the Brontosaurus <laughs> wasn't real. And I also know that they've known that for a long time. They've known oh, that since oh, yeah, like yeah. the early 1900s. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah, well... And yeah. what was... What is wrong with my school? Why did they teach me that? Well, I think it's because um, Brontosaurus itself, that dinosaur, mm -hmm. was... It was discovered, it was one of the first dinosaurs discovered. Mm -hmm. And it was also a part of this thing called the Bone Wars. In the late 19th century, mm -hmm. there was these two guys, Othniel C. Marsh and mm -hmm. Edward Drinker Cope. And they were two scientists who were in this huge competition basically to find the most dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. um, this was pretty early on in the you know, discovery of dinosaurs. People were really into it and there was a lot of, you know, uh, you know, fame from finding these dinosaurs and being yeah. it, with, not only with the public, but with like, you with know, in scientific, in science the ladies, <laughs> maybe with the ladies, yeah. but also in the scientific community. Right. So these two guys were really going at it, trying to find more dinosaurs than the other and, mm -hmm. and identify more dinosaurs. And they, they were doing it in kind of a haphazard way. They were like using a lot of dynamite, blowing up uh, mountains and stuff like that. And, 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 and maybe in the process of destroying fossils. They oh, also boy. like were uh, pretty underhanded. They used like a lot of bribery oh. they, they, uh, and theft. And they were also trying to discredit each other all the time. There should be a TV show about this. Uh, I think there was going to be a TV show. Really? I think so. I, I, th I thought there was, um, this is off topic, but I thought HBO was going to do a miniseries about the Bone Wars. And I thought, and maybe this was a weird dream, I thought um, <laughs> James Gandolfini and Steve Carell were gonna, <laughs> were gonna start. Wow! I, I don't <laughs> we shouldn't even, we shouldn't talk to HBO about this before we make this video public, yeah, but, so, we, so we get some money out of this I mean, deal. it can't be James Gandolfini It sounds like anymore, a great but. show. Well, <laughs> um, yeah, sadly. But that sounds like a great show. Yeah, yeah. Um, um, it, it's, it, it is a great story, um, because mm -hmm. the guys started out as friends, and then they, whatever. Mm -hmm. they, and in the end, it was like financially and reputationally ruinous for both of them. Okay. But it did help, um, they did discover a lot of the like you know famous dinosaurs like Stegosaurus and Allosaurus, Triceratops, mm -hmm. and so like all of those really famous dinosaurs came out of this out of these bone wars, and it like ignited the public's imagination. You mm -hmm. know, people really like dinosaurs, but once they started discovering all these dinosaurs, these like they these guys really pushed it. Yeah. Um, and one of the dinosaurs they discovered was Brontosaurus. Yeah. So what's the deal with the brontosaurus? I'm am still kind of confused about it, mostly because I don't read. But uh, <laughs> well, what happened was you know like brontosaurus was one of the largest dinosaurs discovered mm -hmm. at the time. Yeah. So it captured the public's imagination and it was put on display. And it, but you're right, it, almost in, like just like within a decade or so after it was discovered, it was realized that brontosaurus was the same as another dinosaur, Apatosaurus, which was already named. Mm -hmm. um, and so. They, that was discovered right away, but the guy... Oh, by the way, that's a, that answers a question we asked on Twitter. Yeah. We asked on Twitter, on the Good Stuff Twitter, if you had any questions about the Brontosaurus, and Jonathan Deary, nerd of the North, uh, asked if, if it was supposed to be, if it's called the Apatosaurus. Yeah, well, it, it was determined at that time that it was the same dinosaur, mm -hmm. the same species, or genius, or whatever, I don't know. The same. So, like, Brontosaurus didn't exist. But the problem was they already put it up in a museum, mm -hmm. and the people... Uh, uh, the people basically who, put it, who were displaying it, uh, some of them were still insisting that Brontosaurus existed, mm -hmm. and so they were they for a, a long time afterward they were they were pushing Brontosaurus. And since hey man, hey man, you like dinosaurs? <laughs> yeah. Hey, check out check out this one. It's called the Brontosaurus Bronto. Yeah. For short. 
you know, it was big, you know, and like brontosaurus, like it just, it, it, people just believed it existed. And then soon after that, afterward, there was a bunch of movies about dinosaurs and brontosaurus was in those movies. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, there was a lot of, you know, dinosaur art. And so yeah. for the next, the brontosaurus just never went away mm -hmm. um, because it was a part of like movies and books and. And, and then, but it, it was so pervasive that it went into schools and yeah, then they just yeah. taught it. That's just, that's the, that's the danger of information and, and the danger of not double checking your sources. If everyone around you says it's true, you just think it's true. But it might yeah, not I be. mean, I guess in, in one, in some regard, he's like, who cares? <laughs> you know, like, if yeah. it, you know, if, if it's supposed to be brontosaurus or apatosaurus, you know, like it's been dead for a hundred million years. That's um, true. That, I mean, that's one thing, but... But I disagree with but that, because I like, think truth is important. The truth is important. Mm -hmm. And um, I think this... Uh, I think of this with, with this shows, and like, why, why brontosaurus was so powerful in the mind of the public, was that, for one thing, I think it's a much cooler name than apatosaurus. Oh, yeah. Uh, Patasaurus, it starts with an A, which makes it sound kind of passive. Yeah, yeah. With, with Bronto. And what, what Patasaurus means, it means deceptive liz lizard. Ba basically, ba uh, it was called that because the bones were confusing, I think, to the, <laughs> to the paleontologists. So they, so they called it deceptive lizard. So that's like a pretty lame mm -hmm. name. Mm -hmm. But Brontosaurus means like thun thunder lizard, right? Thunder lizard. Yeah. Which is an amazing name, one of the best names you could ever get. Yeah, it's true. Why didn't Why don't they just say, "All right, we know that it's not that the brontosaurus isn't a thing. It's called the apatosaurus. We're just going to change the name to brontosaurus." Why don't they just do that? Because the the way the scientific method works is that if you name something before another thing, the the you know the first name gets priority. Mm. So I do respect the scientific method. You know, so. it's, which makes sense. You know, it's yeah. it's like I don't know, sort of like copyright or whatever. You mm -hmm. you named this. You know, you get the the, the thing yeah. is like it's the same uh, marsh. Was the guy who named both of them? <laughs> so like oh. he, he named Apatosaurus he and Brontosaurus. So uh, he, in in the rush to find dinosaurs, he didn't see that there were there were the same dinosaur because yeah. he wanted there to be you know like oh I found this one and another one yeah not just the but same the, one. But the but the dinosaur, <laughs> but the dinosaur the Brontosaurus that we were taught in schools, uh, is the Apatosaurus. Does it look like the Brontosaurus? Well, that's another thing is that um, the Brontosaurus, so. Brontosaurus, in a way, still doesn't exist okay. because, like the the classic image of Brontosaurus, which was like, uh, well, we also didn't say that the Brontosaurus does exist now yet. Oh well, yeah, now it exists. <laughs> yeah, um, apparently it does exist now, which has been in the news. You may have heard that already, but it does exist now. Yeah, and that's because of they've Maybe done some more study. Triumphant music, da -da -da, exist. You don't have to put that in when we edit this later. Well, okay. that was just you my can mouth. imagine it. Yeah. Uh, but there's been some further study, and the, there's enough differences between the skeleton of Brontosaurus yeah. um, and Apatosaurus that it warrants its own genus. Now, mm. it seems, anyway. Okay. So Brontosaurus is back. But it still doesn't exactly look like the way that Brontosaurus was depicted in popular culture. Because mm -hmm. like, if you remember, like, uh, like the, you know, like the Sinclair oil brontosaurus or like a lot yeah. of the, you know, sort of cartoony brontosaurus they have like sort of a big kind of squarish head. And the dinosaur, in, in the show Dinosaurs, are their last name, what's their, is their last name Sinclair? Yeah. Yeah. Huh, I just now put that yeah. together. The old show Dinosaurs, if any of you remember <laughs> that, their last name was Sinclair. Huh. Yeah. I didn't even put that. Um, yeah, see that's how the gas station got its name. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Um, yep. Anyway, so the brontosaurus was in, often seen in a swamp. Mm -hmm. With a big square head, uh, you know, dragging its tail around. Mm -hmm. um, that's not really the way Brontosaurus looked. I mean, it, it, it did superficially look the same. It has a long neck, long tail, you know, fat middle. <laughs> yeah, um, like me. But yeah. it's as much skinnier snout and mm -hmm. didn't live in swamps. It lived on land. It's still huge. Oh, it's still big. Yeah, it's still really you big. You could still call it. You could still accurately call it a thunder lizard. Oh yeah, yeah. That's good. It lives up to the, the name still. So, so. Did they just, they discovered a, a di like a differences in the Apatosaurus and then they're like, well, well, let's just call that Brontosaurus? Or were they like, we, we were right before when we thought they were, there was a Brontosaurus? He was right before, that okay. it was a different, a different specimen. It just mm -hmm. took a long time to figure out the differences. I, I'm not sure, I guess they looked at it closer this mm -hmm. time and found more differences. Which one's cooler? Which one, you know what, if, I bet if you put two skeletons of of a, you know, a patasaurus and a brontosaurus next to each other, yeah. you wouldn't be able to see a difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> like from the naked eye, but they look yeah. exactly the same. All right. In real life, I don't know, like in the flesh, maybe they had different colorations, you know, mm -hmm. or something, you know? Maybe they look 
they look pretty much the same so <laughs> in, I think all in real my, life. My my grade school teachers are all like, "I told you so." Why, yeah. Why would you? Why would you ever doubt me? Yeah. I guess. Still. That's, so this that's the lesson here. Yeah. Never doubt somebody <laughs> who's telling you something. <laughs> Just take. Especially all if they're words, in a position of authority. Yeah, take all words at face value because <laughs> yeah. eventually they'll be true. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't do that. Just do, read about stuff. Do your research. Have have healthy skepticism. Uh, what, what else you got, Matt? Well, I mean, that's it. I mean, it's just the triumph. You know, I think people feel good about Brontosaurus being back mm-hmm. because it's sort of like Pluto, you know, losing well, yeah. Pluto um, when we lost Brontosaurus. It was, you know, a lot of people felt bad because they really liked Brontosaurus. Yeah. And Brontosaurus was always out there. In a way, it's kind of silly, though, isn't it, to attach such sentimentality to, you know, just objects that are that you learn about in school just because you learned about them in school? Yeah. I mean, what's so great about, about Pluto? Huh? It's, Nothing, really. I mean, Pluto yeah. is, is like a really... I mean, it's, it's a small planet. You know they, cold. they sent back color photo? A color photo you know, I saw that. Yeah, I'm mentioning, I mentioned that in a Wheezy Waiter video. That's on my other channel. Check it out. It's YouTube. gonna be pretty cool when, when we get like some high, you know, resolution photos of Pluto. Yeah. I actually, get to see it for the first time. Yeah, no, those were just like two blurs. It was just like yeah. the, the <laughs> yeah. Pluto and, and a moon. It was a little disappointing. Is but it was Pluto kinda... a planet now or what? No, well, it's a, it's a dwarf planet. Okay, I'm and still it's still confusing to me. It's you know it's it's among the things that orbit the the sun. That's true, but it's not one of it's not like one of the big ones. It's not one of the big ones. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but that's a, that's another topic. Yeah. Um, but I think you know that that's it's the same feeling. People get attached to things, you know, mm. and you know, science in its cold, merciless way mm-hmm. will sometimes take away those things that we get attached to. But because we should of probably just science. respect the truth. I also think that this these kind of findings get spread more now because of the internet. So I think, like, uh-huh. I probably would have lived my entire life. If the internet never happened. I would have lived my entire life just thinking Brontosaurus was a thing and always had been a thing and there was never any controversy about it. Yeah. But because I, I just consume more news and more breaking science news because it's it's popping up right there in front of my face on the computer. Mm-hmm. Like if I was, if there was, if that wasn't there, I'd probably just be wandering around, just, you know, staring at the sky looking for information. That's what I would do. <laughs> just waiting for information to no fall from the sky. Yeah. Or waiting for somebody to just tell you something. Yeah. And you believe it. Yeah. But I think the, because the internet is around, it's it's helping. I mean, it's not it's not like now we all we know everything, but I think it is helping to spread. I wonder, truth. you know, lies. the lack of internet and yeah. probably a lack of interest or just knowledge in paleontology and dinosaurs in general led to brontosaurus like persisting for so long. You know, Could be because you was you probably sort of hard to you know look into <laughs> yeah the existence of brontosaurus you know up until. You know, recently. I mean, it is, as sad as it sounds, going to the library and checking out books and looking through them is more painstaking than going to the internet. Yeah, yeah. It is, it's probably, if you take the time, you're probably going to get closer to the truth the more time you take, whether it's with, with books or with the internet. You probably shouldn't just take everything from one article that you read. But I do think the internet's helping spread mm-hmm. the truth. That's my feelings about the subject. And yeah, I think that but, and we are trying to be ac- as accurate as possible, but we screw up sometimes too. And sometimes it's just it's hard to be accurate because maybe yeah. there isn't a right answer. Yep, because that's that's something that the internet shows. I think a lot too mm-hmm. is that there's an, like there may it may be there may be an article that states something as being true, mm-hmm. and but when you look into it, it's it's a little bit more ambiguous. Yeah, which is why uh, when we state when we do videos and state facts from now on, at least on Topic Town. We're going to try to respond to some of your comments that you might have, issues you have with what we said. Like, for re- for instance, right now, we're going to respond to some comments. Yeah. Stupid. Oh, yeah, well, from a previous video. Yeah, from a previous video. Uh, we we're going to... Yeah, he's just grabbing the laptop. <laughs> Don't worry about him. Look at this. Uh, we have a couple comments from the last video about what, an a- what aliens would look like. Yeah, we like. talked about... We talked Granted, about... Aliens, what yeah. they look like. We didn't really deal in facts here, so I, I don't think anyone's going to try to prove us wrong. <laughs> yeah. But this there's, is... there's very little information on what aliens look like. <laughs> it is very, <laughs> very little. But uh, here's some. Uh, here's here's a comment. So we got a comment from Malcolm Graham, mm-hmm. and we we'd mentioned we about hands having hands, mm-hmm. and you know, uh, hands are a good thing to have for being able to manipulate things and make spaceships and be able to be, you know, yeah. like us. And it's that sort of it make our kind of technology. Yeah. Um, but 
Graham, uh, Malcolm Graham mentions that like hands are not required. It's just the manipulation of the environment. Yeah. And tentacles also work for this. And are we I was flash this comment on the screen. Should probably flash it on the screen. Yeah. Okay. And uh, that is true. And there could be other things than hands that can mini- do fine precision like manipulation of the environment. Yeah. And tentacles, I think, are a good example. Like octopuses can do a lot of things. They can open jars. Yeah. They can uh, juggle uh, their. But are tentacles better it's, than than hands? I don't know if they're better. I mean, they'd be different. Well, if you have like, if I had like twenty tentacles, would that be better than having two hands? I, I really don't know. It's sort of out of my element here. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> a good question, though. I mean, I guess like, if you have tentacles and you imagine them being like octopus tentacles, you could. Uh, you, I guess you know we have joints, and the tentacles mm-hmm. don't have joints, so you'd have like more degrees of movement. Mm-hmm. So maybe you could even have more precision. You know, manipulation. Yeah, of the I think just in general, having more limbs would probably be better than having less limbs. So, but then you have to coordinate all those limbs, and then you're like using yeah. all your brain power to like coordinate your walk or whatever. Yeah, I don't know. It's got to be. I think this has got to be happy medium. I'm pretty sure that two tentacles versus two. I think two hands are probably better than two tentacles. I, I think that, but I've never had tentacles, so I don't know. I don't know. Well, then you know, like elephants, their trunk. They can do a lot with their trunk. That's um, true, but they can't. They can't smoke a cigarette. <laughs> I don't know. Nor should they. Maybe in or the anyone. circus. I don't know. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> or maybe they can. Maybe is, that, there's, is, that, is, that a, is that a thing? I don't is know. that a measure of, I don't of know. technological... fingers... The opposable thumb is, is a big deal. It's a big deal. But then again, tentacles mm-hmm. that can wrap around things is a pretty big deal. Mm-hmm. I don't know. To let us know what you think. Let's go to the next, the next uh, comment. Uh, weirded Out Fox just sort of uh, makes the comment about like, you know, his uh, or her theory is why do you know, my why do people think aliens look like this theory is that the gray alien look is based on vagueness. Uh-huh. For example, an alien has a very vague face. Our brains have trouble trying to recognize that vague face, uh, what that vague face is thinking or feeling, so it scares us. Uh-huh. And I think this is actually a really good point, and it makes sense because if you think about like the gray alien uh, design, they're mm-hmm. basically stick people. They're like mm-hmm. big heads with big eyes and with skinny limbs and legs. And so in a way, they're like just... And they're like always kind of smooth skin. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. like no detail, really. Mm-hmm. Um, so they seem to be like almost like a real rough schematic of a person. Yeah, so like what if like if I'm thinking of a, a person that I is just vaguely in my memory, um, all the details are kind of left out. Like if I told a sketch artist... And he and he just had to draw what I told him. Probably come close to an alien. Yeah. So like the mm-hmm. aliens might be just this representation of, of a person that mm-hmm. we can't exactly remember the details of. Yeah, that's a good that's a good point. So uh, I think we're all done here, aren't we? Yeah. Um, so, uh, Brontosaurus is real. Brontosaurus is real. Um, but he wasn't. But uh, he but, wasn't real. And he's not what we thought he was. No. Or she. Uh, and um, that's about it for Brontosaurus, I think. Uh, we, I want to mention that we have a Patreon page, patreon.com slash thegoodstuff, if you'd like to go and help support our show. Uh, we have a new playlist coming out very soon. We, we, uh, I want to tell you more about it, but I can't right now, except that it's about sleep. Yeah. And uh, it's coming out quite soon. Mm-hmm. Get excited. And can we talk about the announcement a bit? That we'll have an announcement coming up? We have an announcement coming up. Yeah. Uh, and uh, it'll be an update video, a good stuff update video. Mm-hmm. And um, we're going to try to be doing these um, these topic towns or some kind of video when we're not doing a playlist every Thursday. Yep. So, so, so but it's, you know, let, uh, tell us about your thoughts about Brontosaurus. Okay, yeah. In the comments, you and know. We, we'll, uh, um, Are you happy that Brontosaurus is back? Sad? Inter- <laughs> <Do> intermediate? <you laughs> inter- yeah. Do you not care? Ambivalent? Do you have some kind of... Do you even understand what we're saying right now? Do you speak English? And yeah. are the subtitles not working? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's, I think that's about it. I think we've dragged out this ending long <laughs> enough. All right. Thank you. All right. Thanks Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>